all right guys welcome back survival living here so we are in the solar room we are building an off-grid tiny home which i label a shop or the command bunker all right so today's video guys we are installing our dual charge controllers from emp shield so i already have one wired up we had recently done a video oh um, well actually about a year ago and we installed this on our trailer because we had a solar grid set up on that and this is to protect our charge controllers up here now let's go ahead and talk about what these things are and then we'll get in the installation of this okay so let's go ahead and talk about our grid here our power sources here everything is solar all right up top we have charge controllers each one of these is a 40 amp charge controller all right we have up to 400 watts per charge controller that's 400 watts of panel going to each one which gives us a 48 volt going to this each panel contains 12 volts so we have 4 volts 48 volts amps 40 amps and we have up to 400 watts that's what this is each one of these is individually run so this is a 1600 watt system is what this system runs these are our solar cables coming in mc4 connectors coming in from our solar array these use mc4 connectors with the appropriate solar cable except for this one right here because i ran out uh, this is actually a cable that came with a kit with a solar kit uh, but this will be getting upgraded these are our dc current lugs all right it's got a little safety cap uh clear coat glass that goes over these i have a positive and negative positive negative positive negative each one runs to a charge controller now the dc loads on this is on your charge controller this works directly off the charge controller uh, it runs our dc equipment inside our home now our home all of our wall outlets that we're using appliances on are running through our large inverters which runs out of the battery banks which runs through our fuse panels up here we have these bricks these lugs these are DC current lugs they wire directly into the DC load side of the charge controllers each one each one is set up for an individual room throughout the house I set this up so that if anything was to fail I'll only lose one quarter of my power coming into my home three quarters of the house is still operational that's why this system is set up like this individual breakers for each room yeah so that's why we've done it this way I know mad scientists here <laughs> there are other ways of doing this this is my plan though I like having individual systems that way if I lose one I don't lose the whole thing that's the way I look at it all right moving on so this runs all of our DC equipment our lights our cell phone chargers anything that we use DC current for is these bricks all right so dc amperage inside our house is very low these here are rated at 60 amps each we only have 40 amps coming through so we're good we always build over that way our input coming in doesn't fry any of our system okay so that is taking care of that that is where our dual charge controllers our emp shield protects that system right up here all right this system these dual charge controllers are set to protect up here protect all of our lines coming from our dc all of our light and all of our plugs that use dc that's what the dual charge controller emp shields for below is our fuse boxes all of the major outlets in the house runs to these three fuse boxes all right and then that goes into so these 600 watt lugs back at the charge controller you have up here batteries all right so each one of these is coming down hooking up here this is 600 amp each one of these is only 40 amps but i want heavy duty so moving from here like i said goes the batteries we have these huge battery cables that run down into the battery system 
that is giving us all the connection of our charge controller into one cable, leaving the lugs straight into our battery banks. Now below, let me swing you down. There we go. We have more of the 600 uh, amp battery lugs. Each one of these inverters is tied into these. All right, so when our inverters draw power, they gotta come from somewhere, which is the battery. So we went to these 600 amp lugs. Each one's tied to these 600 amp lugs with these large battery cables connecting to our battery bank. So everything must hit a heavy duty lug outlet. That way nothing burns out, nothing fries. Let's go back up top. Mm. <sighs> Coffee. So as you see, the battery bank is not extremely large. There's 800 amps right now. We are doubling and hopefully quadrupling our battery banks over time. Let's face it, batteries are not cheap. They're about $170 a pop for the batteries that we use. So we're still working on that. Now, EMP Shield has sent us some paperwork and stuff with a package for our dual charge controller protector here. Um, here we go. This is instructions. Very simple walkthrough instructions. It goes over your charge controller, what wires you plug into on the lug, where it goes to the battery, where it goes to the solar, everything you need is right there. So, what we've done, oh yeah, they also gave us a, a nifty sticker. Uh, what we've done, went ahead and wired this one up and I ran it through here. Now, to help you guys to actually see the wiring process, we're not gonna run it behind anything, I'm gonna take the actual wires and run it for you. Now, I do have a green wire here. Five wires come out of the dual charge controller. The green is your ground. I went ahead and ran that down inside because I'm hooking up to our ground connection, which runs outside the house. So that's why that one's already hidden because it is a beast getting in here and getting to that uh, ground and rod and everything else. So we have the other four wires. We have a red and a black. We have a red with a black stripe and a black with a red stripe. So you have a positive and negative set. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and measure this out since I am just running this up here on the outside. I'd clip it there if I was running the outside. But since I am gonna eventually run this all the way through, we're gonna use the full length. Red and black, this is red with a black stripe. So that's our hot. Black with a red stripe, that is gonna be our negative. We're going to go up to the top lug, first lug. It is the solar lug. It has a big old solar panel on it. Our red is going to connect to the red. Our black is going to connect to the negative. All right, our black there. That is tying in and protecting this dual this charge controller here, and it's protecting all of our DC outlets here. So let's go ahead and wire this up. Okay, so as you guys can see, we already have a green light turned on. That charge controller is now protected by our dual charge controller EMP shield. Like I said, we've got a lot of extra cables here. That's because we are going to run this into the wall. So after the video, I'm taking things down. Um, I had pre-drilled holes because I was just gonna fish tape a wire in, but the insulation is packed so heavy behind this wall because we're in Florida, uh, I couldn't get it in there. So I do have screws that we use to just pop the panel off, run the wire, put the screws back on. So that's exactly what we'll do. So we're gonna set this over here out of the way, just like that. That charge controller here is now tied into DC number two. It is safe. Next up, we have the red and black cable, and we're gonna do the exact same process over here. Very simple to do. Just unscrew, slide it in, tighten it down, you're good. Okay, so we have our wire in here. We're just gonna 
tuck this out of the way just for now so I can show you guys everything that we got. We have four set of green lights. That is covering four charge controllers. Each system is independent, okay? So this one here runs this charge controller, DC1 over here, uh, DC2 here, DC1 over here. Now, if I was, I turned it differently, you know, just depends on how your organization skill and how you want it. You could go one, two, one, two. I did it backwards, only because I'm dyslexic. Um, it really doesn't matter as far as which one it comes in. Depends on your organization skill and how you want to do it. But that just protected all of our DC input that runs in our house. Protects our charge controllers. You have to have a charge controller to run a solar system. If you do not use a charge controller on a solar grid at nighttime, your solar panels will bleed out your batteries. You'll have dead batteries in the morning. Number two, without a charge controller, you can actually over fry your system. You ever heard of a solar batteries catching on fire and exploding? That's because people are charging up their systems without something to control the amperage coming in. That's why you have charge controllers. So that protects that. That protects all of our electrical running throughout the house with our DC. Now, I know you're going to ask about the inverters and the fuse boxes and stuff. Um, these dual charge controller protectors from EMP Shield, that does not cover that. That covers just the DC side of this up here and throughout the house. All of our AC, how do we protect that? Well, EMP Shield also has the whole home EMP Shield. That covers your AC current, your inverters, your fuse boxes, the lines going out that way. So we still have to get that to protect our grid. All right, we only have half of our grid protected, all of our DC equipment. But when it comes to our AC usage, our inverters, everything that's hooked up to these fuse boxes, our air condition, our heater, um, the wall outlets, TVs, computers, all that stuff, we still have to protect that. That is where the whole home units come in. So we will be getting hold of those and installing that as well. Also, we have the new micro. Um, EMP shield for vehicles. That's coming in in a couple days. We'll be doing an install video on that as well. Now guys, if you are interested in EMP shield for your solar grid, your home, your vehicle, whatever it is that you want to protect, if you use our promo code CFP EMP, you actually get $50 discount. All right. We make commissions off of anything we sell. People use our links. We've always been open about that. You actually help us out when you actually purchase through us. But building your own grid, you have to have a way of protecting that grid. The reason why we build off grid is so that when the grid goes down, we're protected. This is to keep us protected from lightning strikes, EMPs, coronal mass ejections. That's what these things are for. That's what we are preparing for. All right, guys, definitely appreciate you hanging out with me again. Check out EMP Shield. Links down in the description. Hey, tell them I sent you. Put that promo code in. Get yourself a discount. And you help us out here. All right. Speak to you all later.